I'm now on YouTube. Um, I recently got the CMX 5C quadcopter and um, I've been flying it and I really don't like the transmitter range so I decided to, to modify it. So I went to YouTube and I searched how to modify it and I found a video and I'm gonna show you how to do that exactly. So first off, you're gonna need to get your SEMA uh, transmitter, of course, and it'll come without this golden tip over here. It'll come with um, like this small um, antenna fuse, I don't know, which is like it's kind of dumb they put it because the the antenna, the real antenna, isn't inserted inside. I'll show you the the real antenna that comes, like the original antenna that comes. So okay, all you need is the screwdriver. The um, they include in the package when you buy it and um, all you need also is a um, um, a Wi-Fi router antenna it's um, you can find it at um, like any a router that you don't need which has a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi um, you also need the golden tip that screws on it and the cable it comes with so first off, you gotta take off all the screws you have here for one, two, three, four, and you have also here um, one, two, and three, four. So you have eight screws you gotta take out. After you take them out, um, the transmitter easily pops out. Let me fix out the camera. Okay. So after you after you take off the screws, the transmitter snaps easily. As you see, it comes out. There are two. These are the positive and negative leads that power out the board. Um, you can unsolder them, but I ain't gonna solder it because I already did. After that, you're gonna take out these four screws. One, uh, I mean eight, I think. Wait, one, two, yeah, four on each side. Okay, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna come back and show what I did. Okay guys, so after you take out the entire 8 screws, the board will just come out loose and there is and the on off switch, this this thing will come out, so make sure to put it the side, side here. Okay, so there is the board, there is the on off, you can put these aside, and there is a connector to the LCD, you gotta take it out also. Okay, let me just put it off and it came out exactly okay so right now you have the board and you get your um some sort of a board that sends the signal it's a two po it's it's a four point it's two point two point four gigahertz uh, transmitter so the original antenna that comes with it is this thing see it's a one wire which is not grounded which is wrong to do so this is what comes the original I'll show you the size there it is it's pretty small so all I got all you gotta do is some soldering iron tips scales I mean sorry so this wire is soldered there are wait before that there are two solder points let me show you let me try and focus the camera okay there it is and um, over here, the original wire was soldered on. This is the second point. This is the ground point. There was nothing on this ground point. This is the original point that was soldered on. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna take out the original wire, and you're gonna get your antenna wire. See? You gotta strip it out and make sure that the length of this part to the golden tip is the same as this as this length see it's the same thing same length so all you gotta do is um, get your wire I'll show you the wire there's the wire this is the antenna wire so how it comes it comes like two wires inside one wire there is the ground thing and there is the inside wire which is the main wire I think so you gotta strip it out see super out 
take this crown thing and solder it on the under point on the on the on the soldering space but not on the top on the bottom there's another solder point you gotta solder this the ground thing on and the second and the main wire on the top where was the original wire was let me try and show you I'm not sure if it is possible that way mm -hmm. people do that let me try no it doesn't want to focus okay now you see the ground wire is on the bottom and the main wire is on top after you do that all you gotta do is take back your controller and close it out because it's gonna work I tried it but I, but I still didn't try the range but it's it likes it works indoors great and then um, okay let me get it back and show you how I did this tip and you gotta put some kind of glue here so it won't break but I'm not gonna put glue because I'm gonna glue the entire thing in here like that I I'll show you let me put everything back and I'll show you okay guys so after you close it up make sure that you power it on and check that everything works and great you see so um, after that um, I really recommend that you don't glue it right now just put some a, a bit of hot glue so it won't break just like to hold it in place why because I really don't know if this thing works if this method what that I just did works that's why I'm gonna put a bit of hot glue I'll show you just some some of the hot glue to make it so if it doesn't work and I need to go to the original antenna I can do that easily See, just a bit of hot glue. In order for it, in order for it to hold its position and won't break. Oh, I might even put some more. Oh. That's. Why did I just put hot glue outside? So there's no in glue inside, so it would be very easy for me to break it out and take it out, like take it apart if it, if it is needed. But uh, I'm not sure. After that, you're gonna get your your um, antenna. So this antenna is not there inside it. There's inside it. It is not built from a single wire. There's the wire ends over here. There's some piece of metal, which is the um, 2.4 gigahertz and um, something I don't know what it's called but this antenna which is makes the range and you know which is supposed to be inside the transmitter but they didn't include it I don't know why so what do you do oh it didn't dry yet if you gotta let it dry okay never mind after, after it let it dry you just screw the original antenna in and when you fly it, the best range isn't the tip, it's when it's angled. So, you better fly it like this. This is the best way in flying your quad, or this way. So, all the range is coming upside. So, now let me show you and check if it works from a very close range, like indoor. And after that, tomorrow, when the when the weather gets better, I will show you. And we'll go and test it out. Okay, so there it is. It's blinking. Green is the back. Turn it on. Right, let me show you. Focus the camera a bit. It still flashes now. Plug in. You can see the LCD. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and hope it helped you. And make sure to subscribe uh, for the next video, which I'm gonna make for doubling 
the, the batteries like putting double batteries so we will have more flight range and um, what I said to double the batteries <coughs> make it fit two batteries inside including the camera so we can film and fly more like your flight time will be extended thanks a lot bye bye